Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here, California Weather Watch. Today is May 31st, and right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. Check a look at that upper level low spinning now directly over Las Vegas. Here you can see it popping up a little bit of activity here, shower activity. It's going to continue to do so even across some of the Sierra Nevada today. Did have some thunderstorms across some of the higher terrain just north of Los Angeles yesterday as well. But we're going to continue with this kind of subtropical jet stream around the area, keeping things fairly seasonable across the state of California. There's going to be a big ridge that builds over Canada. It's going to warm up the Pacific Northwest, but not as much across California here. I mean, we're going to be above average at times, but not as much as we normally would be had the ridge been centered over the area here. We're going to keep this troughing around with these systems that are moving across that enhanced subtropical jet due to the developing El Nino. I'm going to see the system bulging out and across into Arizona here. This is going to spawn some severe weather across some of the plains. I'm going to go out and chase that here for the next few days. So I'll do some live streams and I'll be out there so if you guys want to join on and do some Q&A's feel free. Now this is looking at that marine layer. You can see there is actually some sun breaks along the coastline here so it's not a total washout here for the marine layer but you can still see its proximity to much of the area here including the Los Angeles metro area it is still pretty socked in. You can see some of the cumulonimbus clouds bubbling up here across the desert as well with that thunderstorm threat being across some of the Sierra Nevada and some of the desert today as well. We'll look at that in some detail detail. This is National Weather Service Sacramento actually issued yesterday, but it does show the warming trend we're going to be going through as we go on into this weekend. This is day one. You can see the thunderstorm potential does exist across our air terrain, including some of the deserts all in Nevada there as well. And this is where I'll be out chasing here across the plains. This is day two. And again, includes the Sierra Nevada here and a lot of Nevada. Day three, again, with the Sierra Nevada here. This would be from Friday morning to Saturday morning there. So watch out if you're off in the backcountry across the higher terrain there for daily thunderstorm activity. And you can see here, look at the current year. It's down to 26.4 inches now. We're still just above the 90th percentile there as we can continue to melt that ginormous snowpack there across much of the higher terrain of California. You can see the median for this time of year is just over four inches now, so still doing pretty well with that snow water equivalent and the runoff. This is looking at 500 millibars, 18,000 feet. You can kind of see this troughing all the way from Hawaii towards California and the desert southwest. And you notice how this is kind of persistent with that developing El Nino, that warm water down here helping to, to enhance that gradient, I should say say with that uh, uh, jet stream here. So it's going to continue to bring these systems in across the southern portion of the USA here. This is looking at that jet stream. And if I put this into motion, you can see the persistent nature of this continuing to bring these low pressure systems in towards the southwest as we go on in through the extended. This would be about June 5th nighttime here. This is looking at that developing El Nino here. And I've sped this up towards August. You can see that warm water. And you can imagine all that warm water here wants to create that great the cooler water to the north. So we're going to enhance this subtropical jet stream. And that's usually the case in some of these El Ninos here, which can bring wetter than normal conditions to California. It's not a slam dunk, though, and we'll watch how this develops over the next few months, of course. This is looking at the NAM3 cam. I just wanted to go over the thunderstorm potential today. You can see some of this activity even around Vegas out here, just south of Tonopah, across the Sierra Nevada here, out towards the desert. Maybe you can't rule out a thunderstorm there and really anywhere across the state of Nevada. As we go on into Thursday, you can see mainly Sierra's east as the storm motion there is moving off the mountains over the state of Nevada here through the evening hours on Thursday going to Friday and kind of a bit of a repeat here. You can see the bubbling up across some of the Sierra Nevada and some of southern Nevada in towards Utah. Now, this is looking at the National Blend of Models, and you can see the general warming trend here as that low-pressure system kind of gets out of here. Look, by the time you get towards Sunday, some hundreds across some of the deserts. Again, if you want to cool down, go to the coastline here and look at the valley areas warming up quite nicely. Mid and upper 90s, not out of the possibility, uh, realm of possibility there. Going into Monday here, check that out, some low 90s. Tuesday, Wednesday, start to dive back down a little bit here as we go through next week. Not quite as warm across the valley areas here, but still, summertime is on its way, and that snowmelt is coming down off the mountains here, folks, as you saw in that graphic earlier. But anyway, I'll be out chasing here. I'll be doing some live streams over the next few days. I hope you guys can get out and enjoy them with me here. There'll be some downtime, so I'll do some Q&As when the live stream is running, of course. And yeah, so anyway, um, there will be a link below also, the Tempest Weather Station. You can get 10% off and help the channel here, and it is a very nice weather station. I'm very impressed with it. 
and it's you know it's been very accurate it's been holding up very well against some of my more expensive weather equipments and i'm a little bit jealous i did not know about this weather station earlier and for those of you that have bought a weather station let me know how you're liking it so far but anyway that link will be down below for 10 percent off anyway i will be out on the road for the next few days i'll still do my briefings out there um so i will talk to you guys either t tomorrow or the next day and i'll see you guys then